Welcome to the rocket profile of the Delta D, which launched the world's first geostationary communications satellite. The Delta rockets had a Thor ballistic missile for their first stage, and an adapted version of the Delta stage from the Vanguard rocket as their second stage. The combination was initially known as Thor Delta, but eventually just became known as Delta. Each version between Delta A and Delta N saw some incremental change in the design between 1962 and 1972. The Delta D was launched in 1964 and 1965 and had better thrust on the first stage than its predecessors, as well as the first edition of boosters, three Castor-1 solid rocket boosters. The Castor-1s burned for 27 seconds, providing an extra 236 kilonewtons of thrust each. The first stage main engine was an MB-3-3, burning kerosene and oxygen for 2 minutes and 44 seconds produce a thrust of 760.64 kN at sea level with a specific impulse of 285 seconds. The Delta stage featured an AJ-10-118D burning unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine and inhibited red fuming nitric acid, that's UDMH and IRFNA for short, with a thrust of 33.7 kN in vacuum. It had a burn time of 2 minutes and 50 seconds and an ISP of 272 seconds in vacuum. The Delta stage contained the avionics and thrusters to orient the final Altair 2A stage to make the correct orbit. For geostationary missions, two Altair 2As were used, uh, first to boost the orbit and then to circularize. These solid rocket boosters had 24.8 kN of thrust in vacuum and a 284 second specific impulse. They burned for 26.4 seconds. Delta D only launched twice. The first time was with SYNCOM-3, successfully placing that satellite into geostationary orbit on August 19, 1964. SYNCOM-1 had been launched on a Delta B, but even though it had reached almost the correct orbit, it had an electronics failure that prevented it from going operational. SYNCOM-2 was the first geosynchronous communication satellite, meaning it was inclined rather than equatorial like SYNCOM-3. While it ceased operation in 1969, SYNCOM-3 is still in orbit. The other launch of Delta-D was Intelsat-1, the first commercial commsat in geosynchronous orbit, on April 6, 1965. So while Delta-D would be quickly superseded by other more advanced deltas, it had a fairly illustrious brief career. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of Delta D.